Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use a green screen in combination with DaVinci Resolve to remove the background from a video so that you can basically put whatever you want behind a person. So to achieve this effect, the first requirement is going to be that when you're recording a video or that you're creating a special effect, the background should be one solid color. The more evenly distributed you can make the color in terms of its lighting and its color, the easier to create the effect and the better the results are going to be. So try to make it even lighting and the same color. Now in my timeline I have the video where we have the person and we want to remove the background and then under that I have a random image taken off of Pixabay that we can use as the background that we want to overlay the person on top of. You could also use this with a second video on the video track one. The important thing is just to have the person clip on top and then whatever you want the final background to be on video track one. So let's re-enable video track two and now we need to go over to the color tab. So in the color tab we're going to need to select this green color and we can do that by clicking on the qualifier and then use the picker tool where we're going to select this initial green color. So by doing that, it's going to create a range in terms of hue, saturation, and luminance. Luminance being basically brightness, saturation being how colorful the color is, and then hue is what color is it actually on the spectrum. So by using these three qualifiers, which are all enabled by default, we can basically select the green and filter that out as opposed to the person or other objects in the scene. Now, in order to take this selection and to actually filter it out in the final video clip, we should add a new node in. We do that by right-clicking, go to Add Node, and then Corrector. Now we can link this node up to the second corrector node and the second corrector node to the final source output. And we can also right-click and add an alpha output so that when we filter out this background, the actual output has alpha settings for certain areas of the screen. Basically, the person should be full alpha, no transparency, and then the background should have no alpha, or basically being completely invisible, not showing through. Now, uh, we also need to link up this triangle to this one over here. Now, finally, we need to link the triangle from the first corrector node to the second one. And when we do that, in the second corrector node, which is being fed to the final output, uh, we should see basically the background filtered out, left with the gray, and the person still visible. Now you'll notice that for the most part it works. There's just a couple minor issues, namely that everywhere around the person we still have a bit of a green border, and we definitely want to remove that because we want to hide as much as possible that the person was standing in front of a green screen and that the background isn't actually real. So just really quick, here are the settings I was using for this particular green screen. So hue width of 5, saturation from 2.5 low to 30.5 um, as the high range, clean white, which is over here, of 40.5, blur radius of 1.3, and luminance of 48.5 to 75. So obviously you can tweak these a little bit, and where you do it is by double-clicking on the first corrector node. That's where we actually do these settings. So to get a better selection, I'm going to lower the saturation down to about where I had it before. You can notice that the green starts to shrink a lot. Just make sure you don't go overboard and start removing part of the actual person, because that'll look bad. Lowering the luminance requirements down and increasing the width a little bit doesn't hurt too much, so we'll do that. Now, uh, once you've gotten most of the green filtered out, you can look for areas that still have minor issues. So for instance, down here by the hands, it's a little bit darker. And if you want to just add a color specifically, under Qualifier, you can choose the Add Additional Color Picker. And we can just go select here. Basically click a few times until you get the parts removed that you want to hide. So what this will basically do is automatically adjust the range until it gets everything as close as it can to being good. You can also add in some extra soft if you want the effect to be a little bit more blurry and less sharp with the edges. Here I think I'm actually going to lower the soft on the hue and maybe increase the width just a little bit, trying to cut out all those green areas. Maybe we lower the center a little bit so that it's more focused on the green. You notice that there's no green on the person. If you've ever done green screening, you never wear a green shirt while you uh, are actually using a green screen for that reason. You want to make sure every color on the body is different than the ones you're filtering out. 
So it's looking like about 12 is actually good there for the hue. Oh, yeah, right. We need to increase the clean white. And the reason for doing this is it cleans up some of those really sharp edges there. Uh, just make sure you don't go overkill with it, because it might actually start removing some of the edges on the skin as well. So with those settings, and I'll just go ahead and update this really quick. I'll also put it in the description of the video. Uh, 12.4 looked like it was better for the hue with. So that's actually looking not bad. So what we can do now is actually play the video. See if at all points in the video, the background's filtered out properly and that it's not interfering at all. It's looking pretty good with these settings. Yep, we can pretty much go with that. So that's how you would take a green screen video, remove the background of the green screen, and turn your person or object into an overlay for another video clip or a static background inside of DaVinci Resolve 14. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you guys out there. I've been Chris, and I will see you guys in my future video content.